So hello there everyone, this is Fantaduce here and today I'm going to be doing What if Deku became Buddha? And this is Buddha from Records of Ragnarok, not Buddha from uh, the, mythologic, the mythological Buddha, the, mythologically, the mythological one. We're not going to be doing that, we're doing Records of Ragnarok Buddha. Which seems to be a little bit or a lot more different than the Buddha from the myths and every, and every mythology that they have based on Buddha. But uh, yeah we're going with that Buddha so the story the story is basically oh yeah before I continue I would want to make an announcement I made this announcement on my community I'm going to stop making what if Deku was in the Seraph of the end reasons why the anime and I really don't have access to the manga so I can't really continue it if I haven't read the manga and the anime didn't really have a season three so I can't really continue it so we're gonna start a new series with with my hero academia which the anime lucky as heck lucky as hell i got has released the seasons to continue the my hero academia series so we'll start like this so we start at the what if at where isuku is at the rooftop speaking to all my as all my said his final words to isuku when he said when isuku said can i still be a hero without a quirk but then all my looked at him dead in the eyes and said sorry kid but you can't become a hero without a quirk as as isuku stared down at his feet thinking great the number one hero even thinks i, I won't make it but then isuku started to walk away from all my as he thanked as he said thank you for your time number one hero leaving a leaving a shocked face on all my's on on all my as isuku left all my heard screams for help coming from the middle of the town as he ran towards the place the screaming was coming from. Izuku was the one Izuku was the one trapped by the sludge villain. But we then but we then see Izuku's point of view. Izuku wasn't even trying to get out of the sludge monster, sludge villain. He was just th there thinking as Bakugo was trying everything to save him because he was saved by Izuku. Then we go back to where Izuku walked away from All My. When when Deku did that, he heard a certain voice fighting for their life as Izuku's eyes for a second have shown everything went dark for him. Went dark for him. But then Deku But then we see Deku being saved by All Might, but everything was just too late. It was too late. Izuku was then put into a into a sleep into a sleep position that he wasn't gonna wake up for a good while. But then we see Deku waking up in a hospital with Inko sleeping in the chair waiting for him to wake up. But then he, as Isuku then smiled and said, Hi mom, why am I here? Isuku's voice has changed. His facial features and body tone and hair has changed as well. As Inko spoke and said, Hi honey, glad to see you're awake. But then she said, Um, Isuku, do you, can you explain to me what happened? Why are you like this? A couple of weeks ago you were different but in her head she was saying this but she didn't want to say this to Izuku as she then said you've been you've been here for a week after what happened with the sludge villain then Deku looked at her and smiled as he said oh mom I understand but I'm going to get up I don't really like being here Inko nodded at him and he stood up as his hair was white and purple or basically a uh, grayish white and purple but his eyes were purple as they switched into blue. But when they went, but then they went back to purple. Then Deku got up and left with Inko, home. As Deku was looking out from the car, from the car window on his way home. But then he looked at his mom and saw a glimpse of his mother asking him, "How did you get that look, Izuku?" When that happened, Deku looked at the window, shocked as his mother actually asked him that. He didn't really understand what happened as he as his mother as he responded his mother saying I don't know mom I just woke up like this but Inko started to remember what the doctors had been telling him that he was changing as the week was passing facial features looks and everything was changing even personality but they didn't know the personality was but then Deku looked at himself from his phone as he thought well I guess being knocked out for weeks didn't help then after a while of driving, Deku and his mother have gotten home. But then Deku went to sleep. Went to sleep on on the couch as he woke up in a different place where everything was just floating as someone was staring at him from the tree he was next to then. Then Deku spoke saying, who are you? 
as the person staring at him said, "Well, kid, it looks like it looks like I finally reached you, and you look a little like me." But then Suku then said, "Okay, now talk. Who are you?" As the person jumped from the tree and said, "My name is Buddha, and I have been watching you for a while, kid." But then Deku looked at him and said, "So why have you been watching me?" Well, as you can see, me and you look the same," Buddha responded. "But I ha have you ever wondered why you ch why you just woke up looking like that?" As Deku said, "Yeah, I I was starting to like the new look." Oh, but then Izuku interrupted him again and said, "Okay, Buddha, who are you, really? Because no normal person can enter someone's mind that well at your age." As we all know, Buddha looks like a regular teenager in the records of Ragnarok series. As Buddha then said, "Well, kid." I am a god. As Deku then looked dumbfounded, he looked, he looked at him, and then he looked at him. He then looked around, looked at him, looked around, looked at him, and looked around. As he then said, "Wow, I am in a god's, I am in a god's realm." As Buddha looked at him and said, "What do you mean? You knew that I was a god?" As Isuku said, "I'm not really that dumb. I can see that you kind of, that you kind of are similar to gods, but." You're not like I thought you would be. The Buddha that I have, the Buddha that I know, didn't really have, didn't really look like you. He looked more godlike. As he, as this Buddha then laughed, as then Buddha laughed and said, "Wow. Well, I, I look like this. So sorry to, sorry to ruin your hope." As Izuku then said, "Ah, it's fine. Well, so exactly why, am I, why do I look like you?" As Buddha then spoke. Okay, first of all, you're in my place, and third of all, you're in heaven. As Isuku then said, "Great, I died." Then Buddha started laughing as he said, "No, you didn't die. I just brought you here through your mind so you can, so I can speak to you about many important things before you wake up." As Deku then said, "Okay, start talking." As Buddha then said, first of all, you're going to be me, but on heaven, but." Not in heaven, but on earth. As Deku then said, "What do you mean, not in heaven, but on earth?" Buddha then said, "You're gonna be a god walking on earth, walking on planet Earth, basically, while I stay here on Earth, while I stay here in, in heaven." As Buddha then, as Isuku looked at Buddha and said, "A god of walking amongst human. That's interesting." As he, as Buddha then said, "Yeah, very interesting, but th that's the thing. You're gonna have my powers." Not really my weaknesses. For some reason, for some reason, once I gave you my powers, so you, for you could be a copy of me in the human realm while I'm here, in this, in the freaking, in freaking heaven, dealing with Ragnarok. Uh, Izuku asked, "What's Ragnarok?" Then Buddha said, "A fight that gods are having with humans from millions of years, just to prove that humans should be exterminated from reality." As Izuku said, "Huh." As Buddha said, "Yeah, yeah, you don't have to worry about it yet. Right now, I'm just taking care of this with other people, just to make sure the humans don't actually go extinct. So, but if anything happens, I'll make sure to grab you from Earth and bring you into the fight as well." As Izuku was like, "I'm gonna have to fight other gods." As Buddha nodded and said, "Yep." <laughs> as he started laughing at him, then Izuku said, "Okay." So what are the important things you have to tell me? As Buddha said, "Oh yeah, first thing, you're now semi-immortal. What am I meaning, semi-immortal? You can, you're basically have eternal youth, but it's only uh, when you reach a certain age, which I'm gonna be basically be making the age 18. I'm not making Izuku stay freaking 14 forever." As Izuku then said, "Okay, semi-immortal. Wait, so you you've been." You've been young for how long? As Buddha started to count with his fingers, I've been, I've been alive for millenniums. I don't know what to tell you. As Izuku looked at himself and said, "Wow, I'm gonna be alive for a while." Then Buddha spoke, saying, "And second, you have all of my abilities, but you had to train. I don't think you want to be a god looking like this." As As Buddha looked at Isuku's weak little stringy arms and everything else, as Isuku said, "Hey," Buddha just started laughing. Sorry, sorry. And third of all, here as he threw Isuku his weapon, 
As we all know, Buddha's weapon from Records of Ragnarok, the magma, in the magma, in the... Basically in the books, I'm saying the names wrong today, I'm sorry. Basically in the books, Buddha's weapon is incredibly strong, so giving it to Izuka is one shot kill for everything. Which I'm not really making him kill anybody in the My Hero Academia world. Buddha then said, that's a copy of my weapon. The actual one is gonna stay with me for a while until you're ready to keep it. Then Buddha said, and then Izuku asked Buddha, what do you mean keep it? Don't you need it? Then Buddha said, I have multiple of those. A lot of them. You do not need to know how many of them I destroy. As this is not actually from the books of Records of Ragnarok. I do not know if Buddha actually destroys multiple of those weapons. This is only for me to have given Izuku the weapon. As Izuku was given the weapon of Buddha. And basically since Izuku is holding the weapon now. The weapon will magically or out of nowhere appear in Izuku's hand and his real body. As Izuku nodded but the weapon was still too heavy for Izuku. But it just stabbed itself onto the floor as, he, as Buddha said okay kid. You say you wanted to become a hero since I've been watching you, right? Deku then looked at Buddha and said, Yes, I do want to become a hero. Then Buddha said, Okay, now that you have all my strengths, you're going to be me, but in the human world. I'm basically a god, but there's one thing you need to learn. The one thing you need to know, you have no weaknesses that I have. The only thing that you have that I have is the semi-immortality. You aren't immortal. Basically, you can still die to, you can still die from, not from old age, but to celestial weapons or basically heavenly weapons. As Izuku said, good, okay, good point. There's no heavenly weapons down there. As he, as he pointed out the floor, basically think, basically me showing to Buddha that he's talking about earth. As Buddha then said, yeah, there's no celestial weapons there, so you'll be fine. Third of all. You're gonna have to train, and my, and my, and the memories that I have of my powers and everything will be given to you one at a time from my staff. Once you, every time that you train and you become strong enough to handle the abilities, my staff will, my staff will give you some of my memories from my abilities and from every technique that I know of my staff. As Buddha, as Buddha told that to Isuku, as Isuku then nodded, understanding what he meant. Then Buddha put his put his hand on Izuku's shoulder and said, "You'll be a lot different in those in that time that you'll be training, kid. Just tell your mom that you are basically that you you basically changed because of your a late growth spurt." As Izuku nodded, because over this time Izuku will be getting much taller. <laughs> we all know Buddha is not that short in record to Ragnar. He makes Zeus look short. As uh, Isuku nodded and Buddha said, well kid, it's goodbye. And one thing, keep these as he took off his glasses and threw it at Isuku. As he said, it'll make you look a lot more better than looking like that. As Isuku then nodded and put them on. He then got, then he, the one thing that Isuku did not like is that he had an addiction to candy. Or basically to it eating. As I seen from record to Ragnarok, Buddha eats more than anything. As, he, as Izuku then, when he woke up in the real world, he went into his kitchen and grabbed a, went to look for a lollipop and had it in his mouth. As as he noticed that, as he noticed in the in the mirror that his mother had in the kitchen that he had sharp, two sharp teeth, a lot of sharp teeth. As he only had four of them, and he was like, "Huh, I have sharp teeth now." Well, let's get to training. And this is where I'm going to be leaving it off, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is Phantom Duos here, and goodbye.